Since about mid-March, we've been in the midst of this pandemic around the coronavirus, around COVID-19. Since the beginning of this virus, I, along with our church, has been very mindful of what the governor has asked us to do. When she asked us to limit large gatherings to 250, that wasn't a big problem. When she asked us to limit it to 25, we did that. When she basically asked us to quit having in-person worship, we did that as well. We've tried to honor um, what our governor has asked us to do all along in this time of pandemic when she has been putting orders in place. As you know, on Wednesday, she put an order in place for the next two weeks that um, when we are going into public places or places that has public access, that we wear a mask. She also said in the order that um, religious services, those people who were attending religious services or participating in religious services, didn't have to abide by that. We were exempt as a church, as a religious organization. But here's what I wanna do. I wanna ask you, if, you would, if you're coming to in-person worship in the next two weeks, until the end of July, until that order is amended or extended or whatever it is, if you're gonna join us at Jasper First United Methodist Church for in-person worship, if you would wear a mask, let's be obedient to what she's asking us to do, whether we are exempt or not. I think that's a Christian principle that we yield to the authority of our government in, when we can and it doesn't violate Christian biblical principles. So as we come and go, as we come into the building, and then as we leave, I just wanna ask you to wear a mask. I think that's, I think we can do that. Once you are in the building and you are seated and we are all safely distanced as we have been since May the 17th when we started worshiping again, then you can make a choice at that point. Because I'm not gonna be wearing one when I preach. I don't think that would create an effective atmosphere for me to preach while wearing a mask. And I'll be safely distanced from everyone while preaching. So when you get in, you get seated, we're safely distanced. Then at that point, you make a choice about if you want to continue to wear it or if you want to pull it down or take it off. But I think as part of our witness in the community, if we would do that small step of just from your car into the door to a seat, wear a mask, any face covering um, is all that they require. And then when we leave people, and what that means is, is that when we're involved in foot traffic and we're passing people, that we'll be doing our part that they've asked us to do. And I, I do realize that many people are all over the map about their belief about the value of or the lack of value of wearing a mask, but it is what they're asking us to do. So I just simply um, ask you to do that. And, and all of us will be doing this, following that same rule. So I wanna invite you to worship this Sunday. We're gonna continue, we're still doing everything that we've been doing since May the 17th. We're cleaning, we're sanitizing, we're sanitizing between the services, we're checking temperatures, we're asking everyone to make sure that they're not sick, they're not vulnerable, and that they can answer the health questions that we've made public over and over again. I wanna invite you also to worship because um, Tex Ergel is gonna be preaching this Sunday. I'm looking forward to hearing him preach. Um, he's preaching from Daniel chapter three, the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery furnace. He's gonna be, the title of his message is an even if kind of faith, where we would say even if something like a pandemic goes much longer than we would expect, can we still hold on to our faith? I think it's gonna be a, a timely message and I look forward to hearing him. I look forward to participating in worship, both at 8.30 our contemporary service and 11 o'clock our traditional service. He will be preaching and I look forward to that and I wanna invite you in uh, to in-person worship and just ask for two weeks if we could follow that simple guideline of let's in and out of the building, let's wear a mask and uh, while we're in worship, you can make your own choice about that and I think that would be helpful. Um, if we do that, I think it would 
um, send the right message to our community as people see us coming in and out of the building. So I hope to see you on Sunday. I look forward to worshiping with you. I hope you have a good rest of the week and weekend. And we'll talk to you later.